Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Adam, and this is Saturday Night Special, episode 94. So this, I think, I think this is going to be an extra special episode this week. We got a lot of cool stuff for you, and of course, we have our drawing for the uh, South Bend metric gears, the uh, metric transposing gear set, which is right there. So we've got to get to that and do our uh, do our drawing. So we'll try to make a, our introduction here pretty quick, and we'll get right to the to all that footage there. And I got a, I got a few clips beforehand to show you uh, building up to the drawing, and and then we'll get to it. Okay. So look for that here in a few minutes. I also want to point out I got my new Shop Life shirts in today. So I know a couple of you guys have already said you're getting yours, and hopefully everybody's going to be getting their shirts in real soon. I really like them. I, I love the fresh, brand new shirt. Nice and uh, pr uh, crisp printing on it. So I got mine, and I appreciate all you guys that, that uh, ordered yours. And I should be getting a couple more. I've, I ordered uh, James Kilroy's shirt and then also AVE. Uh, I was hoping to have his shirt today, but it didn't come yet. And uh, speaking of AVE, I want to give him a big mention and a big thank you because last weekend he did a, he, he gave me a plug in his uh, blender video for the uh, blend tech. He gave me a little plug and uh, showed some clips from my, from my channel and uh, gave a few words of encouragement for all you guys out there looking to uh, become a tradesman. And I got a huge surge in uh, new subscribers to my channel after he did that. And just really awesome. So uh, he, he's a cool dude. I really, I really like him a lot. He's become one of my favorite channels to watch. Uh, you get to learn, you get to learn a lot from him. And he does some cool tool reviews. You know, uh, tear stuff down and show you, show you the insides and, and how they work and the the honest truth on how parts are actually made and what kind of quality they are. But the most important thing about AVE is that you come away with a nice laugh, and that's one of the main reasons why I watch his channel. Uh, he always makes me laugh. Uh, my favorite video from AVE is probably uh, drill and armor plate. <laughs> I watched that many times and I always crack up over that video. So you'll have to uh, check that out. Maybe I'll put the link there in the description box as uh, a bomb's favorite AVE video. So you can check that out. If you haven't subscribed to him, um, you probably know about him. If you watch me, you probably know about him. Uh, he's got a whole lot more subscribers than I do but he's worth checking out, especially if you're looking for a good laugh. But for God's sakes, don't tell him I sent you. <laughs> All right, so we've got, uh, we got a little bit of viewer mail right here. Uh, we've got one cool thing I'm gonna share with you, uh, some new tools down here that, um, that I'm gonna share with you. And then I've got some machine work that I've done, and we're gonna throw that in there. Some more of the stainless steel work, some of the big stuff working on the American pacemaker. So we're gonna throw that in there, and hopefully you'll get a, uh, some enjoyment out of that. And then also the follow-up to this past week's video over here on the K&T. I've got that. That's going to be right after SNS, so uh, it's ready to go. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it, okay? I know you're ready. Well, this is going to be the start of the drawing for the South Bend Metric Gear Giveaway, the uh, gear set that was donated by Kane Monroe. So these are all the names. I'm just sitting here now starting to cut them up. This, this is the list as I wrote them as you guys were sending my emails. Uh, whenever I had a chance, I'd sit right here and I'd go through my emails and I'd get one. I'd say, all right, got you in. Send you a reply. I wrote your name down. I just went down the list. Now, the only thing I regret about this is that I'm going to be, once I draw a name, I like to tell who the person, where the person's from, and some of you guys put that in your email, and some of you didn't. So uh, once I draw a name, I'm going to be contacting the uh, winner to make sure I have the the uh, information that I can, uh, at least the name and location out there, you know, country, because we don't know where this is going to go. So anyway, we got a total of 110 names in the drawing. We've got. We've got all kind of all kind of people that's um, submitted uh, one of their name in the basket here. People from all over the world. We have uh, I know there's one. Uh, we got one one guy that's doing it for his dad. 
uh, we've got we've got somebody else that's actually doing it for a school. I believe it was a school over in Hawaii, and they have a South Bend laid there that they could use the gears on. So a lot of a lot of really cool uh, e emails that I got. A lot of people told me a little history about their machines and things like that. So I really thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, like I said, I'm sitting here. I'm cutting them out now. Uh, I've got one of those paper cutter things over here on the table. It's really, really old. I thought I was going to be slick and go over there and just slice them all. Well, it just wants to bend the paper around the edge and not cut it. So I'm going to go the old school way with my scissors here. And I'm going to start cutting out all these names. I've got a few here started. And so this is what I picked <laughs> that we're going to uh, use for our drawing right here. So all the names are going to go into this. Um, whenever I was at Walmart, you know, getting some groceries the other day, I had, I, I remembered, I had thought about trying to find a container that I could use and you know, put all the names in. And I had thought about this and then forgot about it. And then when I was in, at a Walmart, I seen these things. I'm like, oh, there's that container I need. So I bought these, bought this just for the uh, container. Um, I did save the cheese balls though. <laughs> They're in a Ziploc bag. So I'm going to see if I can get this label off there, uh, put some alcohol or something on there and get that label on off there. And then I stopped by Lowe's. I was trying to come up with something that I could uh, glue to it. So I got this floor drain, piece of pipe, and I ordered me a tube of the uh, Loctite Power Grab. should be here tomorrow. And I'm going to glue it to the bottom of that right there. And I'll cut this pipe off. And we will chuck it in the lathe, and we'll use the lathe to uh, spin the names, okay? I had a lot of guys that requested to see it that, done that way, so that's what we're going to do, all right? So, I got a lot of work ahead of me cutting these names out, and we'll bring you back for some more here real soon, okay? All right, I've been sitting here cutting these things up, getting a little bit of enjoyment out of some of my favorite YouTubers uh, watching Chuck try to TIG weld. <laughs> so there's all the names and I don't know why but it sure seems like not that many. Uh, I spent a lot of time cutting them up and folding them up in there. But that's it. That's all the names. What did I say? Uh, 110. I added them all up. I might have to fold them differently so that they're not hooking into each other but I'll uh, We'll get them over there on the lathe and let them tumble a little bit. All right, guys, here we are. We finally made it to the drawing for the South Bend metric transposing gear set. And I want to give you a reminder that this set of gears right here was machined and donated by Kane Monroe. And you can go to his website, it's uh, caymanroelawncare.com. <clears throat> and he's got this uh, full set of gears here for a South Bend 9A or 10K lathe with a quick change tool post. And this will allow you to machine most of your common metric pitches, okay, on the, on the South Bend lathe. So a beautiful set of gears right here. And he's also got this uh, shaft that he made that goes with the set right there. And, of course, he's got a printout here of the chart. You know, there's multiple pages here. There's a chart that shows you. And he gives all the information on this, on uh, what you need to know. Okay? So, on to the names. All right? We've got a total of 111 names. I had one last-minute name that came through uh, just today. So, I've got them in. And... And you know I've already gone through the uh, effort to glue this piece on here, and my intentions were we were going to spin this in the lathe. But uh, I went over there and did a check because my I, I didn't think it was going to work very well. And you can kind of see right here, you know, just spinning it by hand, they all stick to the bottom right there. So what I would actually need in there is like some agitators to make them all bounce off each other. And I'm just I'm ready to go ahead and do this. So I don't want to keep messing with it. So um, I'm just going to do this by hand, just like this right here as I'm talking to you. 
We're gonna, and I've been shaking it up quite a bit. So guys, the names are, are really, really shaking up in here well. All right, and um, you guys are gonna see how this pans out right here on camera. I'm gonna reach in there, I'm gonna pull a name, and that person is gonna win this set of gears right here, okay? Uh, there is a lot of uh, names that's very hard to pronounce, so I'm gonna do my best to uh, pronounce it properly. If I don't, I will go back and check and we'll, uh, and we'll revisit it and I'll, I'll make sure that I announce your name right. Uh, the other thing too that I'll mention is as I was writing this down, I realized that I should have went ahead and wrote down the location for each of these names and I didn't start doing that in the beginning. So I've got all the emails saved and once I draw a name here, I'm going to go and check and see if their personal information is in the email and then I will uh, throw it up here on the screen so that we'll, uh, we'll be able to see uh, who this person is and you know at least their state or country that they live in, okay? So, uh, people from all over the world, they got their names in here and a lot, of, a lot of great guys, they left me a lot of great comments about the uh, videos and uh, a lot of guys are, uh, they, have a, they have a South Bend that they're restoring or they have restored and you know, they're putting it back together. Uh, there's a few guys that said that they've had plenty of times that they needed to cut metric threads and they had no way to do it. So, a uh, really cool thing, you know, and again, I got to thank Kane for donating this stuff. It was really, really cool of him to do that. And you can also, as I said, you can go to his website and he sells this as a kit, okay? And I, I believe I, I looked and this is uh, valued at right at $400 for this set of gears right here, okay? So... Uh, there's a lot of time in the machining gears though So that's a really really high valued item. All right, so you guys are probably tired of me talking you ready to see it Let's go ahead and uh, Mix this up one more time right here. We're gonna give this a little bounce notice. I got the little a bomb on there <laughs> All right Here we go Let's see who the winner is gonna be I'm not going to look, I'm just going to fold them up a little bit. <laughs> I think this is the first time in my life I have ever done something like this. Uh, whose names are slipping through my fingers right now? Alright, here we go. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and pick one. I want to make sure I have just one. Here it is. Richard Whitaker, you are the winner of the South Bend gear set. Richard Whitaker, congratulations. You're now the owner of this set of uh, South Bend gears for cutting metric threads. All right, so there we go. Richard, uh, big congratulations. I am going to keep the nominations just like they are for the time being right here. Just in case uh, Richard does not reply, we'll do a uh, we'll do a redraw. But um, we're going to go over there to the computer right now, and I'm going to look up Richard's email, and we're going to find out where he's from. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I went and checked my email, and uh, again, our winner is Richard Whitaker, and he is from here in the United States. He uh, is in Germantown, Tennessee. Okay, so there we go. All right, Richard, I'm going to go ahead and get these things boxed up. And uh, you were one of the guys that, get, that actually give me your address. So I've got your info right there. And I'm going to get them, get them in the mail. And uh, they'll be coming to you shortly. So I had a lot of fun doing this right here. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish I had a set of these gears to give every one of you guys that put your name in the drawing here. I really do. But uh, fortunately, we only have one set. But uh, please... Uh, Check out Kame and Rose website and see if you can give him some support and purchase a set of these gears for your lathe, okay? So, all right, Richard, congratulations, and the gears are coming soon. All right, I got a couple more things we're going to share with you before we move on to our machining for this week. So, uh, first is going to be our, our new tool scores that we got uh, finally showed up. I had mentioned to you before a couple weeks back 
that I bought some new roughing end mills off eBay. And that's what all these are right here. Uh, this was, <clears throat> the, the link was uh, sent to me by James Kilroy and he was showing me that somebody had all these cutters for sale. And there were, he had several different sizes listed and he had very, very reasonable prices and free shipping. So there was also make an offer on every single uh, eBay auction that was on there. So I went in to each one of these different sizes here and I made him an offer basically half of what he was asking for on uh, multiples there so he uh, he accepted and I got a bunch of brand new Niagara roughing end mills now okay that was an inch and a half inch and a quarter shank they're just sharp as a razor blade so we got inch and a half and we got some two inches right here show you those All right, brand new two inch roughing end mills. For just plain old removing metal, you cannot beat a roughing end mill. You guys seen that when I was doing the the uh, machinist vise and I ended up putting that big roughing end mill up there to hog the rest of that metal off. They're just, they're, they're free cutting and they, uh, they don't beat and bang on the machine. They don't make a bunch of noise. They just do really good. So I got a bunch of them. Like I said, we got some seven eights right here. I got some five eights and that's it that's it i'm sorry one inch seven eighths and five eighths right there so that was uh last week's ebay scores so more nice new tooling for the shop right here well here's our viewer appreciation mail for this week we've got a nice big variety of barbecue sauces all right so this was sent in by jeff carrier he's from kansas city missouri and i'm going to read what he what he put in his letter here he says since I don't have anything to pass along that could be used in your shop, I can help out with the barbecue. Here in Kansas City, we have a few, we have quite a few barbecue establishments that are well known, others are not. The sauces I sent your way are a mixture of both. Let me know what you like and I'll be happy to send some more your way. If you want to try some hot sauce, that's available too. Keep up the great work in the videos. Jeff Carrier. That's pretty cool, man. We've got a nice variety uh, barbecue from all around Kansas City, Missouri. So it's bar, uh, Boulevard Barbecue by Danny Edwards, Gates, Arthur Bryant's Original Barbecue Sauce, Jack Stack Barbecue, and then we have World Famous Joe's Kansas City Barbecue Sauce. All right. Well, I see one theme right here is that they all kind of share the same style of bottle up there in uh, the Kansas City and the Missouri area. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this stuff out. You know, I usually use the uh, Sweet Baby Rays or I use, uh, you know, a couple different kind. I'll, I like some of the Kraft barbecue sauce and um, Bullseye every now and then, but it's great to be able to have something from a different part of the country. That's what makes it really enjoyable. So thank you very much, Jeff. I appreciate it. and. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to let you know what I think about some of these pretty soon. All right. Thanks a lot, man. So these these are some tools that were uh, donated to me by one of my viewers. I consider it viewer mail. Uh, but man by the name of Mark, and uh, he is from Middlebury, Indiana. And he just, he, he said that he thought I would like these for my collection around here. And... These have some interesting history to them. This is a, you know, a die set. You have different size, uh, different die sizes, and you also have the handle to hold them. So I've got the info pulled up here on the computer. This is a really old set, and that's what's really unique about this. I mean, it's, this is a, this is over 100 years old right here. The company that built this was called Riley and Russell Manufacturing Company out of Greenfield, Massachusetts. Um, they were bought out by Greenfield Tap and Die, okay? So they were absorbed, and the, uh, so the Wiley name was dis discontinued after 1916, 1916, okay? So this is a pretty old set of dies right here. <laughs> so it's um, approaching 2016, so that's why I consider these things are 100 years old or more. So there's there's a couple uh, taps that should have went you know in this box also, 
and it's missing the lid. You can see the hinges right here. All right, so it did have the lid, but the, uh, the picture on the screen right here, actually off of Keith Rucker's website, vintagemachinery.org, that's what this link is on right here for the Wiley and Russell Manufacturing. So that's pretty cool set right there, Mark. Uh, I appreciate it. And they'll go up and they'll, they'll be put up in the collection with all the others, all right? I appreciate you thinking about me, all right? All right, we got our big stainless shafts back and they got some plates here welded on them that we've got to machine. Got to turn the OD, uh, both of them. That side's got a bevel machined on it and uh, for a weld prep actually. So we're gonna get a little bit of video of the turning. This is the tool that you had given me, and I think that's the insert that might get me. set up for this.
Okay, uh, one eight, forty five by one eight, uh, both sides. So actually going to be another turn down section that will match this diameter and a chamfer or a, a bevel machined on it but I'm going to do that after I flip it around uh, because I've got to cut a big radius on this side over here so I want to get it closer to the chuck because it's going to be a lot of cutting on this other side.
okay I got this this journal here turned and it's it's basically the same size as this other plate over here on the other side uh, 5,000 smaller on the print so now what we're going to do is machine the angle right here I'm going to attempt to use it with this TNMG tool it'd be the same angle as that um, but that's a pretty wide cut if it can't handle all that then we'll have to set the compound up and actually tool it in there I know we can get it close though with this That's a lot of stainless. we'll make it we're gonna have to machine it in there beat it in doing pretty good should be about 3 16 
I think we're going to live with that right there. We got our uh, 60 degree angle cut in there. It just would have been a little difficult trying to swing this compound around uh, with the limited room I got to do that. But this is all going to be welded in, so that should be fine right there. I'm coming in to do this radius here now, and I've already cut it with an insert tool. You know, stepped it in there, and we've got to cut a three-quarter radius. So what I've done, I've taken one of my tool bits, high-speed steel, and I've ground me a three-quarter radius on there. I just made a form tool. Got it honed nice. A little bit of back rake, side rake. That should cut that pretty good, I hope. Nice sharp edge on it. So we'll come in here with that form tool and form that into a three-quarter radius, all right? I won't be able to cut the whole thing at one time to clean it up, so you got to make it in progressive cuts. Uh, even when you go to finish it, you got to kind of step it around and uh, do a certain percentage of it and then just try to blend it together. feel it trying to push off there because of how much it's cutting. Steady rest right behind the camera here, holding the shaft also. We try to keep that tool buried. close getting close you see we got a little bit there at the bottom and still a little bit up here even I have a hard time looking over and seeing down here I think Tom Lipton would have to have a step stool over here to <laughs> get up on so he could see the tool bit
All right, I'm just about there. Coming out here and cleaning up the, the edge by the plate. I'll have to come in here and do some a little bit of blending with some uh, like some flat wheels just to try to make it look a little bit better. Feel, whenever I feel it trying to start chattering on me, that's when I back out so it doesn't dig in there and make a bunch of lines that you got to clean up. But come on, man, that's looking pretty dang good. It's pretty good. Got a zero on my cross slide here, and I just work my way back into that. And I got a zero over here. I just go in about ten thousandths at a time. I decided to go ahead and, and face this out a little bit and come in here and blend that in just a little bit more. So that's what we did. You can see a little bit didn't clean up here, but it did come down here and clean this area up. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little polishing now. cleaning it up nice these little flappers they do a pretty good job on that corner radiuses Come here and clean this up again too. Okay guys, this one's all done. This is the longer of the two. This one's finished. There's the two radiuses cleaned up and polished. I got our two diameters turned within spec, got our weld prep on there. The, uh, the keyways were already milled in and I did not do those. A uh, customer wanted to do those themselves so they put the keyways in and I gave this another, uh, just another polish to clean it up from all the handling and it's ready to go. So that's it. I actually got one more to do. It'll look just like this, but it's a little bit shorter, about another foot shorter.